In the hyper-connected 21st century, where social media algorithms and viral trends often dictate where the culture is at any given moment, Crafting an unforgettable rap hook isn't just a creative goal, it's a necessity for standing out in an oversaturated market. This is no longer the era where lyrical mastery alone will get you the crown. This is the time of the iconic chorus, the nucleus of any track that changes lives from viral fame. Whether it's the hypnotic repetition of Kendrick Lamar or the minimalist elegance of Drake, a killer hook can propel a song from mere auditory experience to a cultural phenomenon. Aspiring rappers, seasoned pros, and even casual fans need to take note. Understanding the secrets of writing rap hooks that go viral is the golden ticket in the modern music landscape. In today's episode of How to Rap, YouTube's most subscribed channel on learning the science of how to start rapping and begin a professional career in rap music, we'll dive into the complex art and psychology of creating rap hooks that not only get stuck in your head, but also ignite social media firestorms as we teach you the seven secrets of catchy rap courses that always go viral. The first secret we'll unveil on how to write rap hooks that go viral is what we'll term the repetition revolution. Of course, in the music industry, crafting a memorable hook is like hitting a Steph Curry level three pointer from distance. It's what everybody is aiming for, but it's easier said than done. One proven strategy for nailing this is repetition. But this ain't just about mindlessly repeating words or melodies, it's a sophisticated tactic based on human psychology. You see, our brains are naturally wired to recognize patterns. Once you give listeners a sequence that they can latch on to, you've got a song that's not just catchy for a day, but memorable for a lifetime. Let's break this down with some examples. Of course, Kendrick Lamar's Humble is a master class in the power of repetition. The phrase, be humble, sit down, shut up, trick, are repeated so often it's like he's drilling it into your brain, pause, and that repetition builds a rhythmic flow that heightens your overall engagement with the song. With that, you're not just a passive listener, you become an active participant fully immersed in the music, but repetition isn't just one size fits all. On the other hand, of course, remember Drake's God's Plan goes for a minimalist vibe for repetition. Here are the repeated phrases, bad things, it's a lot of bad things, and of course, just God's plan are a few phrases that he uses, yet it's every bit as impactful. The simplicity here works on multiple levels. It's a breather from the more complex verses you'll write and puts the spotlight squarely on the emotional core of the song. Each word carries weight, turning the hook into something that resonates deeply. So repetition is your golden ticket for crafting hooks that have a lasting impact. Whether you're going for the more elaborate approach like Kendrick Lamar or opting for minimalist elegance like Drake, the underlying psychology remains the same. Next on our list of secrets for how to write rap songs that are catchy and go viral is understanding that even in choruses, rhyme plays a role that's as critical as it is subtle. You see, when done right, using elements like internal or slant rhymes can create hooks that are lyrically captivating and rhythmically irresistible. Consider Post Malone's Rockstar featuring 21 Savage, for example. The hook in this song is a study in the effective use of both straightforward and slant rhymes. Phrases containing words like car and star are not just random selections, they serve to tie the lyrics together in a cohesive, melodic bundle. Really, rhyme here acts as a binding agent, making it easier to remember the words and more satisfying to sing along. And plus, it enhances the beat, turning it into something that not only sounds good, but also feels good to listen to. Additionally, take a re-listen to Kendrick Lamar's Money Trees. This track employs internal rhymes, threading them intricately within each line of the hook. It's almost like a linguistic puzzle, making you appreciate the artistry that goes into creating a hook that's layered in both meaning and form. So what's the bottom line? Rhyme isn't just window dressing. It's an essential tool that can make or break your hook. Now, if you yourself are an up-and-coming rapper watching this and want to master the art of rhyming in your hooks or verses about any topic at any time with incredible ease, one of the best ways to do this is mastering the art of freestyling so that you can always have rhymes and bars flowing from you at any time you need to write that catchy hook. The easiest way we found to do this is sign up for our Master the Art of Freestyle Rap in two weeks or less course, which will help you with daily drills, practice sessions, and even comes with a free bonus course called The Infinite Rhyme Maker, specifically designed for you to quickly create the best rhyme choices for your hooks. Click the first link in the video description to hear more about that. 
But no matter what, whether you're weaving intricate internal patterns like Kendrick or crafting something more straightforward like Post Malone, the rhyme choices in your hooks often draw listeners in, not just for the moment, but for repeated listens. Now, in the alchemy of crafting an unforgettable hook, the instrumental backdrop serves as an indispensable element. It's not just a support structure, it's the sonic landscape that sets the stage for the lyrics, amplifying the emotional undertones and overall impact. Take Juice World's Lucid Dreams as a case study. This song incorporates a haunting melody that's as unforgettable as the lyrics themselves. This carefully chosen instrumental backdrop works in concert with the words to deliver an emotional pressure point that lingers long after the music stops. You're not just listening to a catchy track, you're experiencing a layered emotional narrative that sticks with you. Of course, in a similar vein, you can shift your lens to Triple X Tentacion's set. Here we see the power of minimalist instrumentals. The pared down beat sampling none other than the BMW alert serves as an amplifier, lending gravity to the lyrics without overwhelming them. This sort of simplicity creates a sort of sonic clarity, allowing the listener to focus on the emotional essence of the song, making it not only memorable, but also emotionally impactful. The challenge in all of this, though, is striking the right balance. The instrumental component should be compelling enough to captivate listeners, but subtle enough to let the lyrics shine. When done right, this equilibrium creates a multi-layered experience that engages the listener on several fronts, lyrical, rhythmic, and sonic. Now, what we mean when we say the emotional resonance radar, look, in rap music, it's not enough for a hook to be catchy or melodically engaging. What really gives a hook longevity and depth is its emotional resonance, its ability to connect with listeners on a visceral heart to heart level. This connection transforms a hook from something that's merely memorable to a component of the song that listeners return to, not just because it's catchy, but because it taps into something deep within them. For example, consider Logic's 100-273-8255, a song that grapples with the serious issue of mental health. The hook in this track is far more than a set of well-arranged words and notes. It's a hard-hitting emotional message that engages the listener's psyche. But the realm of emotional resonance isn't confined to serious or heavy topics. I mean, take tracks like Pop Smoke's Welcome to the Party and Dior as contrasting examples. These songs may not dive into societal issues or existential questions, but they carry an emotional charge on their own. They capture the essence of youthful energy, the hustle of ambition, and the thrills that come with stepping into new and exhilarating experiences. Therefore, be sure to always ask yourself, is this track emotionally resonant? Does it bring out the emotion in the listener? If you want to know how to write rap hooks that are viral and considered catchy, you have to ask those questions. Of course, another aspect of knowing how to write a rap hook that's termed catchy by practically everyone is understanding that the magic of a memorable hook often lies in a seemingly paradoxical blend of simplicity and complexity. While the hook needs to be unique enough to stand out from just a paint by number style hook that says the same thing over and over again, it shouldn't be devoid of a precise and thoughtful melodic choice that you know will get everyone from ages 5 to 55 rapping along and singing along. Take, for example, Goosebumps by Travis Scott featuring Kendrick Lamar. That hook, I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, you know, it appears simple on the surface, but what makes it unforgettable? It's more than just the lyrics, it's the entire auditory setting. I mean, Travis Scott uses autotune in many of his tracks as an instrument in itself, adding layers of complexity to what initially seems kind of straightforward. Similarly, re-listen to I Like It by Cardi B, Bad Bunny, and J Balvin, regardless of how you feel about Cardi DB's off the mic personality. This was a massive hit because the hook's sing along quality is infectious, yet it also cleverly melds Latin trap and reggaeton with Cardi B's unique rap style. It's a cross cultural, genre defying piece of artistry encapsulated in a few catchy lines. So, the art of crafting the perfect hook lies in mastering this balance. Simplicity serves as the entry point, luring listeners into the core of the song, but it's the undercurrents, be it the blend of genres, the innovative instrumentation, or the emotional weight, that gives the hook its staying power. Now, in the wider rap culture, creating a hook that echoes with a cultural moment or speaks to a particular subculture isn't just clever, it's what we're dubbing the culture catcher strategy. 
This approach goes beyond catchy lyrics and beats to make your music timely, relatable, and ultimately part of the larger societal conversation. Take Drake's In My Feelings, for example. This song wasn't just an audio experience, it ignited a viral dance challenge, turning it into a cultural event. I mean, it resonated so deeply because it plugged into something beyond music. It became a part of a collective experience. Central C's recent hit Doja pushes the boundaries of cultural resonance even further. At first glance, the title alone name checks Doja Cat, a massively well-known musician and viral sensation known for hooks that stick. This immediate cultural cue pulls in listeners who are already primed to engage, and then add that to the fact that the music video was steered by Cole Bennett, a go-to name for viral rap visuals, and you've already got a multi-layered hook set up, but Central C doesn't just stop there. If you notice, he even layers in lines that subtly touch on politically charged topics. I mean, phrases like, how can I be homophobic, my chick is gay, and the man them celebrate Eid, the traps to running on Christmas Day, subtly integrate social and religious themes. This widens the song's appeal and embeds it with a larger dialogue, extending its half-life beyond a catchy chorus. So in crafting your own hook, aim for more than just creating a hummable tune. I mean, think about how you can position your song within an existing cultural conversation or trend. This multifaceted approach doesn't just boost the song's listening stats. I mean, it expands its cultural footprint, increasing the likelihood of achieving viral status. And last, and similar to Central C's master marketing moves with Doja, in a music industry saturated with hooks designed for catchiness, incorporate an unexpected twist, and that can set your song apart, elevating it from merely great to legendary. This strategic maneuver is what we'll call the surprise element, and its potency shouldn't be underestimated. A prime example is Childish Gambino's This Is America. The song begins with a cheerful, choir-backed melody, only to surprise listeners by instantly pivoting to a darker trap beat. This shocking twist isn't just random beat programming to mesh samples together. It serves as a critique of the discord between America's ideals and often its harsh realities. And the surprise catches listeners off guard, straight up. I mean, it adds a layer of depth that catapults the song into viral and critical acclaim, as we remember. Kanye West's work, of course, often offers another insightful case study. His album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, featured hooks that were lush, introspective, and grandiose. But then came the Yeezus era with the opening singles for that album, New Slaves and Black Skinhead, which featured hooks that were polar opposites to the glamorous and sky-chasing vibe of the previous album. In New Slaves, Kanye confronted consumer culture and systemic racism, a radical departure from his previous style, and that confrontational nature served as an arresting counterpoint to some of his earlier work, forcing listeners to grapple with hard truths as he saw them. Black Skinhead further amplifies the shock factor by fusing rock and rap, defying Kanye's traditional soulful samples. The lyrics in that track dive into racial identity and the trappings of fame, diverging from the approachable reflective hooks of many of his past works, such as Touch the Sky. These unexpected elements serve as their own form of a hook, compelling listeners to digest complex themes Kanye lays out. Therefore, the next time you're writing a hook, be sure to come back to this video and check one, two, or all of the secrets to make sure you're landing on the right vibes to craft the best hook possible. And now we'd like to see you in the comments. What do you think is the catchiest hook in rap in 2023 so far? Let us know and maybe we can get a discussion going about how that track you've chosen uses one of the secrets. And of course, if you're interested in more personalized training, be sure to visit the video description to master the art of rhyming and freestyling in two weeks or less. I've been your host, Drew Marcy, the big homie Drew for how to rap. I'm out.